this is the second lecture in laplace transform series uh, in this lecture uh, we will solve the following questions uh, these are the very basic questions uh, first question is e raised to minus 18 to u of t and second one is minus e raised to minus 18 to u of minus t and these are the causal and anti causal signals so we will discuss the roc of causal and anti causal signal and uh, we'll do one more problem okay and uh, here uh, there is a question uh, find the laplace transform and roc for the signal x of t is equal to e raised to minus 18 into u of t and in order to find the laplace transform this is a bilateral laplace transform equation x of s is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus st dt okay uh, in place of uh, x of t you can substitute this particular signal okay so i can write the equation like this so equation becomes integral uh, minus infinity to infinity uh, e raised to minus a t into u of t into e raised to minus s t dt okay the t is a variable now we can see that uh, there is a non signal which is uh, u of t now we can write the definition for u of t so u of t is equal to 1 for uh, t greater than 0 and uh, 0 for t less than 0 okay and the waveform will be like this uh, if you plot this waveform in a time axis u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than 0 so this is a continuous time signal so this is u of t and uh, the integration is actually from minus infinity to infinity but the signal u of t is exists only from 0 to infinity and otherwise it becomes 0 so we don't want to integrate it from minus infinity to infinity we can limit the integration from uh, 0 to infinity so now the equation becomes 0 to infinity and you can group these two terms so we can write e raised to minus s plus a into t into dt okay so u of t value is 1 so it will be like this and the value of s is uh, actually uh, or i will write like this uh, integral 0 to infinity uh, e raised to minus s is equal to sigma plus j omega okay sigma plus j omega into a into t okay and if you rewrite this uh, you can write 0 to infinity uh, e raised to minus uh, sigma plus a into t e raised to minus j omega t okay and dt here also we need uh, one dt okay. so from this equation you can see that uh, is simply the Fourier transform okay if you write the Fourier transform uh, e raised to minus j omega t into the signal okay in another ways we can say that uh, this is the Fourier transform of the signal which is multiplied by e raised to minus sigma t okay anyway uh, we can say that there is a condition for Laplace transform a Laplace transform of a signal x is only when uh, the signal into or this part okay this portion should converge okay and this portion uh, should be absolutely uh, integrable and in order to make it integrable absolutely integrable the sigma plus a okay sigma plus a term should be uh, a converging time okay so in order to apply the limit so this is the only the explanation part we don't want to go for this particular portion again i will uh, explain uh, this term okay and now i can apply the limit or you can integrate it e raised to minus s plus a into t by minus s plus a okay and we can see that uh, the limit is from 0 to infinity now uh, we can see that this uh, s plus a time uh, we can take outside because t is the variable and now we can apply the limit so if you apply the limit here you can see that uh, it's infinity if you apply the infinity here t there's a term uh, s plus a 
okay for example you can consider two cases here okay and write here uh, limit t tending to infinity e raised to minus s plus a into t okay now we can apply the limit t is equal to uh, infinity here so if you apply t is equal to infinity here we will get two cases okay if s plus a is uh, positive and if s plus a is negative so i'll write two cases here uh, i can write uh, s plus a okay is greater than zero if s plus a is greater than zero means this term becomes positive okay this term is positive so it will be like this e raised to minus uh, and s plus a is positive term so you can write as positive term and you can apply uh, the limit t is equal to infinity so it becomes minus into plus plus uh, sorry minus so you'll get minus infinity okay which is equal to 1 by e raised to infinity which is approximately equal to 0 but another point uh, here this s plus a uh, is greater than 0 uh, we can uh, reduce this condition because uh, there is no significance for this uh, complex portion only the real part should be uh, converging so i can uh, rewrite this equation either s plus a is greater than 0 or the real part of s plus a greater than 0 or the real part of s plus a means uh, actually s is equal to sigma plus j omega so you can write uh, it becomes uh, real part of uh, sigma plus j omega plus a greater than 0 and the real parts are sigma plus a which is greater than 0 or if you write, rewrite this sigma greater than minus a or in other words we can say that as a real part of s if it is greater than minus a the limit we will get 0 okay so we will get the answer become 0 and now we will consider the another case okay the next case is uh, again uh, this s plus a s plus a is less than 0 means the term s plus a is negative okay if the term s plus a is negative means already there is a minus and s plus a may again negative and you can apply the limit infinity so it becomes e raised to infinity e raised to infinity is approximately equal to infinity means this equation okay this limit converge only when the real part of s is greater than minus a or you can say when sigma is greater than minus a so so we will conclude that we will choose this particular equation we got two uh, options here okay two options we got uh, one is the answer is uh, limit answer is tending to zero and another one is infinity so this is uh, case one and this is case two and we prefer this case one because we need a converging answer so we will prefer or we will find a laplace transform only for this particular condition okay when sigma is greater than minus a so when sigma is greater than minus a the limit becomes uh, zero okay we can apply that limit so I can write like th when you apply the limit uh, t tending to infinity uh, so this term is like this uh, 1 by minus s plus a you can take outside okay you can take outside remaining uh, if you apply uh, the limit t is equal to or t tending to infinity so t is equal to infinity we got two cases so we will choose the first one okay so it becomes uh, 0 okay minus uh, now we need to apply the second limit e, 0 okay if you apply 0 there is only one case uh, e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is equal to 1 so you can uh, rearrange this so equation becomes 1 by s plus a okay and one more condition is there uh, sigma greater than minus a so we will get this particular answer only when sigma is greater than minus a or in other words you can say real part of s should be greater than minus a so in some textbook uh, they will follow the real part of s and some directly write sigma greater than minus a because the real part of uh, s means it's a sigma okay 
so we got the answer okay and this answer or this laplace transform equation is valid only when sigma in greater than minus n. so now uh, this condition is known as region of convergence so now we can plot this in the next uh, page so we need to plot this uh, condition uh, in s plane so this answer is uh, for example we got uh, x of s is equal to 1 by s plus a and sigma greater than minus a okay and uh, we don't know uh, what's the value of a so a can be positive and a can be negative also it's okay and if a uh, we'll take the first case when a is positive so when a is positive this quantity minus a will be the left of g omega axis so i can mark here this is the point uh, sigma or sorry uh, minus a sigma equal to minus a okay now here uh, we got that uh, s this laplace transform exists only when sigma greater than minus a so sigma is equal to a means it's a line okay parallel to j omega axis and greater than minus a means towards right okay so this is the region of convergence for this particular answer and here we need to consider one more uh, case uh, if a is less a is negative okay second we need to consider a negative if a negative means uh, minus into minus it becomes plus so you need to mark minus a here because a is negative okay based on that we will mark this pole right of this j omega x and uh, this is sigma is equal to minus a point and it's greater than so it will be the right of this particular line so this is the roc so here the value of a is unknown so we need to take two cases and this is a causal signal now we will uh, discuss another one is an anti causal signal so this is the second question uh, here the signal is uh, a raised to minus uh, a t in the u of minus t uh, there is a minus also so i can write uh, the equation like this integral minus infinity to infinity uh, a raised to already there is a minus uh, a raised to minus a t into u of uh, minus t into e raised to minus s t dt ok so there is a non signal uh, which is uh, u of minus t so first we can write the definition of u of minus t so u of minus t is equal to 1 for minus t greater than 0 or you can write t uh, less than 0 and which is equal to 0 for minus t greater than 0 or you can write t greater than 0 and graphically you can re represent like this is a t and this is a u of minus t graph and this is the value 0 and the signal uh, magnitude is 1 when t is less than 0 so this is a condition so this signal x is uh, only from uh, minus uh, infinity to 0 so i can uh, reduce the integration already there is a minus minus infinity to 0 and i can group uh, the terms uh, s plus a into t into dt okay and now we need to apply uh, the limits uh, minus infinity so i can consider two cases uh, now i can integrate first uh, minus is there and it's, it is equal to minus s plus a into t by minus s plus a okay and the limit is from minus infinity to zero okay and uh, now we can consider two cases uh, limit t tending to minus infinity it's very important in the previous case uh, it's simply infinity now it is minus infinity so you can write minus s plus a into t okay and uh, uh, the first case we can consider this s plus a is positive so if s plus a is greater than zero or very specifically you can write real part of s plus a greater than 0 if that quantity is uh, greater than 0 means it is a positive term 
and uh, t is minus infinity. So finally, we will get e raised to infinity which is equal to infinity. Now we can consider the second case, uh, the real part of s plus a is less than 0 or simply this s plus a is less than 0 and we can write e raised to minus already there is a minus and the second term is negative and uh, t is also negative. So finally you will get e raised to minus infinity which is equal to 1 by e raised to infinity which is infinite and you will get two cases and if you apply the limit t is tending to minus infinity and we prefer uh, sorry here it is 0 okay, here it is 0 1 by e raised to infinity is 0 so we will prefer the second case because we are getting a converging answer okay otherwise we will get only the answer is equal to infinity so we prefer the second case so now i can uh, substitute in this particular equation so here i can write like already there is a minus and uh, denominator is minus uh, s plus a and first case uh, we need to apply the zero limit so limit uh, t tending to zero there is only one possibility that is e raised to zero and uh, second case we prefer when you apply the limit t tending to infinity minus infinity we will write the answer zero okay because we need a converging answer so after simplification uh, you will get 1 by s plus a and there is one condition uh, only when this is real part of s plus a is uh, less than uh, 0 or you can say sigma plus j omega plus a the real part of less than 0 or you can write sigma plus a is the real part which is equal to less than 0 or sigma less than minus a so the ROC of the signal you can write sigma less than minus a so this is the ROC okay now uh, you can plot this ROC okay and again uh, there will be two condition uh, so the final answer is uh, 1 by s plus a and uh, sigma less than minus a and if a is positive okay if a is positive uh, then minus a okay minus a will be to the left of j omega x and the ROC the left of this particular line okay. this ROC and if a is negative if a is negative means uh, already there is a minus minus into minus plus so the minus a term will be somewhere here okay and uh, it's less than that means towards left okay so we will get two possibility if a is unknown okay so now we can conclude uh, these two signal okay this is the final answers uh, one signal is e raised to minus a t into u of t and the laplace transform is 1 by s plus e and the roc you can write real part of s greater than minus a or in simple terms sigma greater than minus a because the real part of s is sigma okay and there can be two possibility for this uh, ROC if A is unknown okay if A is uh, unknown uh, we will get two possibilities okay and we can conclude one more thing uh, here that is uh, from this particular example uh, we know that the one property of uh, this Laplace transform so the ROC of a causal signal so the first one is a causal signal because which exists only in positive side or the right sided signal is a form sigma greater than uh, sigma max value 